Hi, Bob Powell here, editor of The Streets Retirement Daily. And today I'm speaking with Michael Finca, who is professor of wealth management at the American College of Financial Services. Michael, welcome. Thank you, Bob. So you recently penned an article that talked about how financial plans must adapt in the post-COVID world. Can you give us a, sort of the three-minute short take on this article? Yeah, the short take is that at the beginning of retirement, if you want to pull money out of an investment account to create a lifestyle, so you want to pull $40,000 a year out of your retirement savings, you can actually run what's known as a Monte Carlo simulator that will simulate what stock and bond returns are going to look like in the future. Nobody knows, uh, but we do have a pretty good idea of how volatile they are. So we can simulate what could happen in many different retirements, and we can assign a failure rate. So if I'm pulling $40,000 out of my savings, what is the likelihood that I'm going to run out of money over the course of my lifetime? So that's the value we get from a Monte Carlo simulation. Um, but what I found is that that's only, that's only relevant the first day of retirement. So if I have a million dollars and I'm pulling $40,000 a year out of that account the first year, and I think that I have a 95% chance of success, I only have a 95% chance of success that day. The next day, markets are gonna go up or down, and depending on whether they went up or down, I'm going to have either a higher or a lower chance of success. I liken it to having a deck of cards laid out in front of you. Uh, and in that deck of cards, you have a range of different portfolio returns. Some are 20%, some are 30%, some are 40%. You know, most of them are between zero and 10%. But within that deck of cards, there is a negative 30% return. So someone lays those cards out in front of you and you pick the wrong card. What impact then does that have on the likelihood that you're going to be able to continue to withdraw $40,000 plus inflation every year for the remainder of your retirement. And the point I tried to make in the study is that when you have a month like March of 2020, where the market falls so sharply, uh, what we saw is that a withdrawal strategy that had a 95% chance of success went down to about a 65% chance of success within three weeks. So that is a new state of affairs. And if you had retired three weeks later, then you would have been withdrawing a smaller amount of money if you wanted to maintain a 95% chance of success. And the most important point of that is that if we're gonna invest in flexible assets, like stocks that could go up or they could go down, then we have to be willing to adjust our spending up and down in retirement if we wanna maintain the same level of success, the probability of success in our investment portfolio. So what I showed is that this is something that you probably need to understand. What does risk mean? Risk means that if you get unlucky, there's going to be a lower probability that you're actually going to be able to successfully achieve your retirement lifestyle goals. So is the implication that you need to sort of be assessing the probability of success on a more frequent basis, monthly, semi-annually, in order to adjust your withdrawal strategy? I do think that you need to at least quarterly review how the market has done, whether or not it is keeping up with your expectations of market returns. And if it's not, consider adjusting your spending downward. And if you don't understand how much of your spending is flexible and how much of it is truly fixed, I mean, you can't uh, ramp down your spending on your property tax or your health care. That's fixed, ex fixed expenses, and you shouldn't be funding those fixed expenses with variable investment categories like stocks. You should uh, make sure that you've got a social security plan and a safe investment plan to fund your safe expenses, and then use your variable expenses um, to be funded by things like stocks that could go up and down in value. Okay. All right, Michael, thanks ever so much for explaining your study. Anytime, Bob. Thank you.